Hello everybody, my name is Agent M and welcome to the third episode of Advancements which is going to be probably the final episode on advancements in story and we'll look on recipes in the fourth episode which will come out uh, a little bit later because they are not out as of now when I'm recording this we can't use recipes yet, we can't use custom recipes yet so we'll do that in the fourth episode so quickly to recap what we did in the last episodes is we created basically this entire structure in our data folder advancements story nether and we created three advancements which starts with roots and has two uh, advancements fallen water which is kind of weird for the nether so we're going to change that today so something more interesting and we have fall in lava so that's what we did last episodes and we're going to work on that today so this is how it looks like and we created all these and we already achieved these so how do we get rid of them because we want to actually not have to deal with that anymore we don't want to just have it unlocked already so one way to do it is to use the command slash advancement revoke your name and then the minecraft story nether and then the achievement name or the advancement name fall in lava we're going to get rid of that and fall in water we're going to get rid of that and that is obviously easy now we can do that for everything but if we have a lot of advancements we want to get rid of them all we can't just do that unfortunately in this episode or in this snapshot we can't use that yet so to quickly get rid of all the advancements just go out of your world real quick and go to the world folder this is the world folder custom advancements go into advancements not in data in advancements and delete your player advancement now it's gone it's gone it's completely gone right nothing there now we go back in there right it creates the advancements uh, for us and there doesn't seem to be anything there so yeah that's how you delete your advancement you just delete that and it will be gone and this will delete everything all the advancements but the advancements itself the custom advancements are still there so when you fall in lava again so let's or let's let's just do something friendly just get some quads and when we get quads it will open up that advancements window again and now minecraft advancements are hidden but if you get a crafting table real quick you can see it opens up and it opens up in the order that you get the ad advancements in so if you first get an advancement in nether nether will always be on top and then minecraft will be second so keep that in mind that's a little detail to Keep in mind. Anyway, let's um, make something different than fall in water because there is no water in the nether. So last time we wanted to kill a zombie pigment, but unfortunately that condition doesn't exist yet. So we're just going to work on something else. Create beacon. Uh, deflect arrow. Let's, let's just look at the examples. Follow ender eye. So there's a lot of triggers and let's go to that... Um, Wikipedia page we mentioned earlier. So this is the advancements pa Wikipedia page on minecraftgamepedia.com. Um, so here is it's still in work in progress. Please help us expand this if you know stuff. Um, so we can actually um, look at what the JSON format is. I added this section and I added the trigger section and the conditions section. Um, so we can actually see real quick in a nutshell what we have for trigger names. So we can see we use this Minecraft inventory change for the quads so it's uh, the available conditions for that are items and what are items? That's a list of items and in that item we can for example have Minecraft stone. So that's really easy to see. Alright Minecraft enchanted item. This will be triggered when a player enchants an item through an enchanting table. So this is basically really stubborn. You can only do one thing with it and it's pretty, it's pretty dumb. But, I think, I'm just going to um, make a suggestion if it's not a thing yet. You can probably use the condition items on this as well and see what item you enchanted. Um, but we, I can test it off camera and tell you in the comments below if that works. Um, but you, you should actually experiment a little bit by trying, trying out different conditions that are not um, listed here yet. And see if they work and add them to the list if, if you find something interesting. So other people can also mess around with it. 
So we're just going to look at these uh, things and we can see these are very, very generally used and they're really easy to use. Um, recipe unlocked, we'll look at that later. Minecraft player damaged. Um, that is what we're going to use today. So we're going to check if the player is damaged and we're going to look if they, whether they're blocking or whether if, if it's a projectile that they blocked. We're going to see what we can do with that. So we can see is the player damaged and are they submerged in lava or is the, is the player damaged and are they on a cactus? We're going to combine things. So let's keep it easy this first time and we're just going to see if we're in a block or we're in water and we get an item. All right. So we're going to do something that's not really nether related, but we're just going to stand in water. We're going to fish and we're going to call this a, a achievement or advancement fishing underwater. And we'll see if that works. So we're just going to experiment a little bit. Also, to quickly um, add to this, there is a frame in display. And this is something we haven't seen yet. And let's also put that to the test too. And this is basically for, um, like basically uh, before we had achievements with like a very uh, fancy frame around it for very difficult advancements. And now we can just um, use this uh, challenge uh, frame in our uh, advancements to uh, see like for example we're going to change fallen water we're just gonna keep the uh, enter block we're going to add to this a comma and then what was it called again frame and we're going to call this challenge because it's a very challenging thing to fish in water we're going to just trigger um, when Minecraft enters a block, that's one of the criteria. And we're going also going to check if we're having an item. So we're going to see gets fish. So let's see if we got a fish. Got a fish. And so we're only going to check for fish right now, but you can check for anything, right? Uh, of course, but we're just going to check for fish. So Minecraft um, inventory changed as we have easily documented down here. You can see that. And you can say inventory changed. And so we're going to just change this to fish. So I want to see if we got a fish. If we got a fish, this uh, condition will trigger or this criteria will tr trigger and it'll do something. Now, we don't have requirements yet, so let's add requirements. Basically, requirements are if you have multiple criteria and multiple criteria have to be met. So we can just go and add requirements in here. And it's basically a list and not a compound. So we have to use square brackets, right? As you can see, requirements is a list of all the criteria names. This is probably to specify which have to be grouped together. And so we're going to make one group in here which is again square brackets and we're going to just call the names of fall in water and got a fish. So the requirements are as follows these so um, we can have multiple requirement groups so we can say for example um, got an apple so um, this will advancement will trigger when we got an apple or if we got both a, uh, a fish and we both we both fell in water and got a fish at the same or in, in the same moment both these criteria met then the requirements is uh, for this have been uh, gotten so then you get it but we don't have got an apple so we just only if these two met, are met in requirements then we'll get something so we're not gonna call it fall in water but fish in water. Now that's really funny because this, this shouldn't work. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. We need to actually have items. This entire tag completely forgot. So yeah, you put, you put that into your conditions like so. And then we're just going to check for a fish in the water. We'll get got a fish. Now we're just going to um, 
put that over here too, over here too. I'm just going to get rid of that, put that over here. It's kind of silly of me to do that in a tutorial, but I'll fix that later. So now, we, now it works. We have a block and a block. So always check your code. Always check your code. Don't copy paste everything. That's stupid of me. We have fish, we have stone, we have iron ingot. Now, that should work. Real quick, and then I'm going to finish the video. Advancements, nothing gone. We get the fish, and we can see it's one third. We get water, two thirds, and then the final item on the list. What was it? It was redstone. No, it was iron. No, it wasn't iron. It all was iron. <laughs> and we get iron ingot. We get the achievement or the advancement. Now we revoke our advancement again. Um, as you can see, it's gone. And now what happens if we get a stone? So set block, stone. And give ourselves a diamond pickaxe. And we enchant it with silk touch. We can see we get the stone, we also get the advancement. Now, obviously, you can cook the stone in a furnace, but it's just a, an example. We can also just do a nether star, and you have to complete or a load of quests, or just get the nether star, and you'll get the advancement. So, yeah, to recap what we did in this episode, and to because it's uh, become a little bit messy, so we're going to rename this real quick to. Um, complicated water or complicated fish we're going to call it complicated fish um, go back in there so if the advancement complicated fish which either um, so it's called fish and water so gives us a little hint you have to get an iron ingot and oh got the stone anyway <laughs> you get the idea so that's how these advancements work. So we're going to complicate fish. We're going to show how it works, what we changed, and that's frame challenge to give ourselves this spiked frame. So it's really challenging. Um, we put ourselves some criteria here. It's still the same root. Um, so it's still um, on the same tree branch. And we say one criteria is fall in water. So enter a block, water, we have got a fish, so it's all in criteria, got a fish, we get a minor fish when the inventory changes, and got a stone when we get stone, and an iron ingot when we get iron ingot, and if all these are met, these requirements will become true or false, basically. And so we're going to look at the requirements. Is fallen water true? Yes. Is got a fish true? Yes. Is got iron ingot true? Yes. So all three are true. All three in here are true, then we get the achievement or we get the advantage. So we have blocks of requirements, and every block on its own, if it's true, um, we'll, we'll win it. So it's basically an or. So or this, all that, or if you have more. And within there, we have to get everything. So basically, either this or that, and within this, all this. So, or we get all this, or we simply get one stone, as we have defined above what that means. And if we have that um, thing, then we'll also get the advancement. So yeah, so that's really basically um, how you get um, multiple requirements and how that works and how you, how you can basically swap between them. You can change this stone to nether star and we'll, we'll keep it like that. And then if we reload the world and we change the advancement, revoke, HDM, Minecraft, uh, story, another, what is it? Complicated fish? We don't have it anymore, but let's see. Another uh, star. We get another star, we also complete it. So, yeah, that's it for this episode. And that's the final episode on the advancements I showed you. The wiki page real quick to 
see what triggers are available and how requirements work. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, short series. In the next episode, we'll handle recipes, but those aren't out yet, of course. And thanks for watching very much. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will happily answer them. If something wasn't clear, I'll always answer your questions. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.